A girl is sitting in a theater with a projector screen, she is doing her research on a picture called the portrait of God. Her research is regarding the subject where, some people see different forms of God in the picture but she hasn't seen any form till now, she wonders why. She asks herself, why is it that she couldn't see what others saw? She is curious and has been working a lot on this. As she stares at the screen, she notices something has changed. She wonders if she's actually seeing something, or is it all her imagination? She starts paying attention to the screen in detail. Something's changing in the screen. Fear arises in her heart. She is now getting scared about what she was going to see. When she paid close attention, she saw something that looked like eyes of a person. At first she couldn't believe if what she was seeing is true or if all these are her imagination. She suddenly realizes that it's not her imagination. To confirm this she rolls up the projector screen. As the screen moved up, she could still see those eyes staring right at her. Her curiosity is completely changed into fear as the eyes were now getting clearer, and she could see a figure in the projection. As the figure moved suddenly, she is traumatized and runs out of the room. But she wasn't in the hall, it is like she has been transported to another dimension. She freaks out and has no idea what's going on around her. She wants to think all this is her imagination, but suddenly she hears a spooky voice behind her. She wondered where the voice was coming from, it was dark all around. She checks around to see if she could see anything, but it was just her. It was like she's all alone in the dark room. The only person that could help her now is God. So she holds the cross in her neck, and starts praying to God. As she was holding onto her cross, a figure appears in front of her. She felt the cold as the figure appeared, near her. It pulled her head with its hand to make her look at it. And then it slowly started opening its mouth. When the girl opened her eyes, she started seeing the light in its mouth. She is now in a trance. Her fear is all gone. It's like she has been hypnotized by the light. As she looks at the light, it is revealed that, she's still staring at the projector. The cross on her neck had blood in it as she pressed it so hard. It's been three hours since she's staring at the empty screen.